Ana Castaneda, owner of Alamo Succulents. And please bring us back to sanity here and talk about these beautiful, beautiful plants you have. Yeah, so they're all succulents and cactus. And today we're going to be painting some pots and planting some succulents. Okay, and now with succulents, what are some, what are some common mistakes people make when they start out with succulents? First of all, overwatering. So a lot of people tend to overwater and that causes root rot, so the plant dies. Um, another thing is they don't put it in a well-lit area. Mm -hmm. So we need, plants need live, they need sun, they need sunlight from some sort. And that's gotta be like a window, not just yeah, a lamp you know, on your desk or something yeah, like that, right? Yeah, right, so they can be on a windowsill or outdoors. And what about the soil? Because there's actual succulent soil? Yeah, there is. So regular soil will hold in too much moisture and make the plant to rot. So we do need a, they do need a special succulent mix. Okay. And the next one, if you plant too many together, because some may grow really big, they don't stay this small, all of them don't, right? Right, yes. Yeah. So for beginners, planting a lot together, will, they will grow, so you'll have to repot them eventually because they'll overgrow their pot. And if you're just starting out, are there certain types of succulents that are easier to Yeah, grow? so that one in that red pot where there is a jade plant, that is a great starter succulent. So the jade plant, okay. Yeah. Pretty much the KISS method, just keep it simple and keep it simple, yep. for us beginners, us yep, very low maintenance. kind of folks. So, all right, your pots are fantastic. I love Thank these. You. This is, I mean, half the battle. And you have such beautiful designs on here. Thank you. What's the trick? Yeah. Patience. So, yeah, <laughs> just, just start. Just get, get something but, but pointy. How, yeah, because, yeah, how do you make these? They're so precise, you know, your, your shapes and, and the circles, and you have a trick, you use certain things, right? Yeah, so you can use anything with a point. We have a pencil, the tip of a pencil, mm -hmm. the part of the eraser, a toothpick, anything will, will work to make the dots. Okay. And so, yeah, well, we start, I gave you a, um, a pot that's already started, and I started mine. So just pick, you can pick the, he got the pencil, pick a toothpick, whichever. And just go dot around. You pick whatever color you want. And just go around the dots that are already there. So what motivated you to start painting your own pots? I started collecting succulents. And by the time I knew it, I had a lot of terracotta pots. And they all look orange, as you can see on the inside. So I wanted color. I wanted something different. And I started painting them just a regular base color. And I started looking for ideas. And then this came about. You got dots on there. Yeah, Look at you. Well, just even little simple things like that, but using yeah. the, the right little, these little tricks are always fantastic. So, so once you get the pot painted, what's then the trick? You put the, the succulent soil in here, and how do you how do you plant one? Yeah. So you I, you have a spoon there. You can make a little hole. The the plant has its roots. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> now, do I need to take this out or just just make a hole in a there hole. so that the, the succulent will fit? Okay. So you put the roots in there. And. That's pretty much it? Yeah. Just like that? Okay. And That's it. And then you can add some rocks for decoration. You don't have to. It's just preference. Okay. Um, so it covers up the, the dirt and makes it look. Oh. And simple as that. And now at this point, I don't even need water right now, right? They don't. No. Okay. They're very low maintenance, like I said. So I water them maybe once every two weeks. Okay. And they're done. And you have a pretty neat event coming up uh, this Saturday? Yeah. We'll be at Fort Gloria's Coffee House down South Presa um, from 9 to 5, so you can find us there. All right, and this is a great starter uh, way to grow something yeah. for, like I said, us that can't really grow anything. So, <laughs> well, for more information about the Alamo succulents, it is this Saturday, May 25th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Folklore's uh, Coffee House. And if you want more information on that, just go to salive.com. Anna, thank you very much. Thank you. All